Hey, thanks for stopping back by here on the Triple T Ranch. Today we've got a video where we're setting some empty tombs at the greenhouse. Easter's near. We are preparing for that. The tombs, or the, the uh, coffin vaults, came from my hairdresser. She had the vaults out behind her shop. They were once used for menace in a, in a convenience store. So we're going to set these at the greenhouse, which is no easy task. The garden's in the way, all that mess. We're going to mix some biochar and some chicken manure, inoculate the biochar, and we're going to mix our own soil. A lot of the ingredients coming from right here in the woods. And I hope you enjoy the video. Go down, go down. Okay, come on, come forward. Okay, you're underneath it. Here we go. You just barely got the lip of it. Rolling? No. Nope. What'd it do? Push the roller into the sand. Did I already pull the boards out? Yep. I did? No, you didn't. It just disappeared. I think it's underneath the tractor. I got an idea. Yeah, but it was going. Is it underneath it? Yep. It's going where you want it. You're about a foot away from the other one. How close am I to get done? You can't because the metal's there. It's on top of the metal now. You just can push it now. Slow and steady. Ready? Go slow. Stop. Let me look. Yep. Looks almost exactly like the other one. A little bit more. Come forward. There you go. You're under it better. Okay, you're good. You're under it good. Yep. Okay. Lord have mercy, that goes fast. Dang. The bucket. Okay. I gotta go down to deep. You got it. You got it. Just keep doing what you're doing. 
It only needs to go right stop. You got it. Good little wood pressure. What we have in here is uh, I really like uh, hickory because hickory, um, the bugs really attack the hickory. So I really like using that for this kind of thing. Now the bugs attack it above ground. I don't know what it's going to do in the soil, but it's all pretty rotten. So I think we're going to be okay. And then this, this right over here, there was a drainage hole on the other end. So because we weren't sure if this is going to be level, I drilled two half inch holes through the bottom on this end. So we got a big drainage hole on that end and these two half inches down here. When we did that logging video, you saw a, a pine that had rotted out for 20 feet. I just dropped the bucket down in there and run it up into the bucket. So that's what's in this one, and some hickory. And this is a lot of bark from firewood. It's all hickory bark. So anyway, we'll have about 12 inches of soil. So we're gonna take our cement mixer and pulverize some charcoal, and then we'll inoculate it with chicken manure that's been composting since 2018. Then we'll mix in the soil and put it in here by the five gallon bucket. All right, found these rocks on the property. We're gonna put them in our hopper over here and we're gonna grind up some charcoal to make biochar. And this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna throw these in here. And I'm gonna put two. This is a little more than five gallons. Again, what we're doing is we're gonna make the dirt. Maybe this, I think I should just stay right there with mm -hmm. one. Okay, so we got the rocks in there and we got the charcoal. here is do a little lab test and what I'm trying to determine is if this is going to rob the nitrogen from the soil I put in here. So I'm going to plant a radish or so and maybe a bean or a pea and we'll see, compare it to regular soil that we have mixed up in there. We're grinding charcoal and we're going to check and we'll test our our gutter system here that we installed. Yeah, we had to put a gutter so water wouldn't hit this here in the rain and just wash it out. So, here we go. No leaks. I hope it starts coming out. It's coming out. Oh, it's leaking on the downspout. Uh huh. It didn't leak in the trough. Nope. About four hours worth of grind in here. Mm -hmm. I took out all the rocks. So what I learned is I, I shouldn't have used uh, hickory charcoal. It is very hard, but you can still break it with a hammer, but it's really hard, like coal. Sounds like a rock in there, don't it? Anyway, so what we did is we took that um, we had what uh, 
something like that, a six gallon bucket and a five gallon bucket for the charcoal. So this is, what I'm doing is scooping out the pulverized part and put it in the bucket because that pulverized coal in there was adding a cushion. I needed it to hit hard to break those hard rocks. So, so now what we're going to do is get all the rocks out of it and then we'll, we'll coat the, the charcoal with chicken manure. So uh, normally you'd put that in water and chicken manure and all that and coat it, but I don't want to make a mess. So I'm just going to stick it in here and mix it again without the rocks and the chicken manure and let it sit all night. And then we'll remove the inoculated charcoal out and then we'll start our mixing process. So we calculated about 25 gallon buckets per coffin over there. Here's what it looks like. The pulverized part. And there's some chunks in there, of course, but most of it's pulverized. That you have just kind of a feel for how hard this is. See, it's charcoal. It's not wood. But I'm telling you, it's like a marble. This chicken manure is not... It's not raw. It's been composting since 2018, I believe. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there. And then I'm going to put the charcoal back in. See that? Mm -hmm. Almost looks like gunpowder. This one. Surprisingly heavy. This will be the test if it tries to come out. Bump it on and see. Like I said, we'll we'll mix it and then let it sit all night. Let's see if it comes out. Yep. That's might be the way we get rid of the chunks. Mm-hmm. It's already mixed pretty good. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I decided I'm gonna carry these little hard pieces of coal back to my forge. I know it would not hurt for it to be in the soil, but I'm gonna see how these burn. Thirty pounds. So this is pulverized charcoal, this biochar now, with some chicken manure. And so now what we're going to do is start the mixing process. We're going to get one of these full of biochar. Here's my rock. That goes in the hopper. We're going to get one composted chicken manure. And that goes in the hopper. And one perlite. And that goes in the hopper. Now we're going to switch to this is, I guess, a one gallon. Mm -hmm. And we get one potting soil, right? Mm hmm. One potting soil, and then we get one, right, one rotted leaves and wood. Composted. Com yeah, it's just been out in the woods.
Just one of those, right? Mm -hmm. And then we get two of these, right? Mm -hmm. Make a five bucket. And one of those buckets of compost, our compost. Let's see what that looks like. Nice. Looks like dirt, but it yep. is compost. It is compost. Push it down in there a little bit. There you go. And we're going to go for five minutes. Get that rock out. had some discussion, me and my compost assistant, about how important it is to keep it consistent over there. So I'm going to put, we know these two are identical, so we're going to put one in one coffin and the other one in another coffin. That's about 60 pounds right there. Did you get the plain sand that you put in the other day? I put just regular sand in to cover up all that wood and start filling the voids, voids with it. Oh, this is one of what I think is 20. Per. Per. He's hoping 20 will fill yeah. it. That's what it looks like. Looks like about the right amount of perlite to me. And repeat. So it took me two days. Well, let me say this. After it rained four inches, and so everything was really heavy, so I decided to lighten it up. So I went to the woods, and I brought back 16 buckets. of woodland humus and you can see it in there it's just basically find a post oak or an elm or something laying down that's been laid down for a long time and I get it a little at a time into a bucket if I could get my tractor in there I did that so let me take you inside and let you see what we got growing here So we got some mint, a lot of tomatoes ready for the garden, and a lot of peppers, bell, banana, hot, jalapeno, a lot of romas. I think these are a lot of roma uh, tomatoes here, but there's all different kinds. And I got a little stand of, I believe these are cucumbers. 
Yeah, National Pickling Cucumbers. That right there is a squash. We even have a few tomatoes in here to eat. If you can see it or not. We've been eating tomatoes since late January or early February, somewhere in there. It's been pretty good. They taste pretty good. As a mission fig, my strawberries, I bought those uh, bare root. They never came through. We got my camera girls got our pineapple growing. This is a straight neck squash. We only need one of those. Haven't had a lot of luck with those because of I, get, I think it's mildew or something. Kind of rots the vine away. So over here, this is oak lettuce. We've eaten off that five times. I just found this today while I was out gathering material for those raised beds. That's my fig cuttings. Here's a fig kind of a cutting transplant a banana another fig some aloe vera this rose moss is from last fall and I went to show you this this right here this pepper right here I dug it up out of the out of the uh, garden and planted it in here we've eaten a few peppers through the winter and these two tomatoes here they were uh, suckers that I rooted, and I tried to get the, we had a big tomato and then a small tomato, but I guess the big one didn't make it. There's a poinsettia left over from Christmas. There's a couple of tomatoes. Sure hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know I'm enjoying not having to do it anymore. I thought I would never ever get done. I thought I'd just be hauling those buckets for, for the rest of my life. Trying to build a little fire in here because it is going to be, they say in the upper 30s in the morning, but we are close to, very close to getting uh, past the average last freeze, which I think is March the 15th. Here's a different kind of planter you can make out of white oak, something that won't rot. See I cut the ends off, then use the chainsaw to cut the channel, then put the ends back on. Thanks for watching.